Hey everyone, this is the Vivor mini hat press that was sent to me. This hat press comes with a set of directions. It comes with gloves that are heat proof. So it has this rubber on one side that is going to protect your hands because it does get very hot. So it includes that pair of gloves. It comes with a roll of heat resistant tape if you need to tape your design onto it. This piece right here is where you're going to turn it on and do all of your programming. So the power cord just plugs right into this side and then this piece is on the back of the heating element for the hat press and that goes right on the other side and then it tightens in so that's not going to pull out. This is where you're going to turn it on and make all of your adjustments for the timer and the temperature. This piece right here is going to heat up and it's really heavy duty. I like that it is heavy, so it's going to automatically get some of that pressure just by putting this on top of it. It has a nice curve to it and it fits wonderfully on the base right here. The base has the pad that's on it and it stays on it, so that's not going to get lost. And then this can just set on the top while it's heating and then you can use it to press onto your hat. When you're ready to turn it on, you're going to take this part right here. There's a power button on the side. And when you turn on the power button, you're going to have another power button that pops up right here. Now, if you tap that power button, it's going to turn on and it's automatically going to go back to the settings that you set it to. So at the beginning, um, the timer and the temperature are just preset and they are set pretty high and you can change those. So I'm gonna change that just by hitting this power button one time. And when I hit it one time right here, the temperature is flashing and it stopped because I didn't do anything in time. But if you hit that one time, your temperature is going to flash and you can put that to the temperature that you would like. I'm gonna go to 315 degrees Fahrenheit and after five seconds, it will stop flashing. And right now it's just going up to show that it is heating up while I'm talking. The other one is the time. And if you hit this power button right here two times, it's going to flash. So that's your timer. And you can set that to however many seconds you would like. I'm just gonna go with 15 seconds and then it's going to stop after I wait for five seconds. So I'm just gonna wait for this to heat up. It's almost there. I had it set at 315 and you will hear it beep when it's ready. All right, so you can hear that it is beeping three beeps at a time and it just waits a couple seconds and it continues that to tell me that it is ready to go. At this point, I can press the power button to stop that beep and it's ready to use. So I'm gonna put, or I can put whatever I'm going to press into the press machine and then when I can push the down button and my timer is gonna start going down. So when I press that down button, it's going to time the 15 seconds for me and then beep again to tell me that my time is up and I can take my item out of the press. Again, after it beeps, press the power button to turn off the beep. I have this hat that is super cute. It has dinosaurs on it for a little girl that loves dinosaurs. And so I'm going to add just a couple sparkly items just to uh, make it a little bit more girly. And so I have these cut out of glitter vinyl and I'm going to put these on this hat. So first I'm gonna start by putting the hat on here and just pressing it so that my hat is smooth. It's a little bit wrinkly. All right, so right there, you can see that that is nice and smooth now. Pressed on there really well. So one thing with this is that it is hot and so I don't wanna set it on my um, counter like that. I can set it down this way, but you just want to be really careful because that is very hot. So I'm going to place my items where you would like them to go. And I'm going to use my paper so the backing doesn't stick. And I'm going to press my down arrow to start my timer. 
and I'm going to apply weight right here. So I'm pressing down just to give it to the pressure that it needs to adhere, but this is nice and heavy too, so it, that is also pushing down, giving it some of that pressure. There's my timer, so that is done. I can take it off. And let's peel off my backing. There we go. And then I like to press one more time after I take off the backing, um, just to make sure that it's fully ad adhered. I see a couple places maybe where I didn't give it enough pressure over on this side. So now is my chance to do that. And I'm gonna start my timer again. turn off my timer and here's my hat it's super cute you can see that it really did a nice job adhering that um, vinyl this glitter vinyl even it's not peeling up at all on the sides and it worked really well i like that this heat press is not huge it does a really good job i can pack it away in a cupboard and this is great for any small items that you need to heat press i hope this is helpful thanks for watching